So you want to be an automotive YouTuber, hmm? Well, think again. And again, and again, and again, because you probably will maybe regret your decision for even trying. Now, I don't say that to discourage anyone from doing it. In fact, I generally like to encourage people to try their luck on YouTube. Um, you never know. You never know how successful you will be until you try. That was the same thing I put myself through. Whatever that was, boogied. It's the same thing I put myself through when I started my channel. Quite honestly, I never thought I would be at the level of success, though not that much, but my channel is far more successful than I had originally anticipated, which encouraged me to keep pushing and pushing. And eventually I'm pushing myself to the limit. What do I mean by that? Uh, well, this kind of content is tough. Working on your car for content sucks. And the reason being is because if you don't have the proper tools and equipment and help and space to make it all work efficiently, like any good business, it sucks. Because at the end of the day, that's what YouTube is, a business, and time is money. If I'm out here spending so much time doing small projects on the car to make content, that's less time I can be putting in towards other my other uh, sources of incomes. Making my time working on the cars and on these projects and making the videos more efficient means I can ultimately make more money, which is what we all try to do. And it sucks because I've gotten to a point now where I've developed so many ideas I cannot execute them how I want. I actually started off today working on a video that I had hinted about, but it is hot out here. I had very little time in the morning. Like once I got my morning activities done and came out here and started working, it was already so hot that I could not get anything meaningful done without sweating my ass off. And then, which meant I started rushing and then I rushed and goofed up some things, which now makes me a little upset. And for me, this has been the struggle with YouTube, man. And I want to keep pushing. I enjoy doing it. Um, you know, I've now started seeing the fruits of my labor and I want to keep pushing forward. But it's like, I, I feel like I've hit that point where I can't push any further. Okay, so here's a good analogy. My YouTube channel right now is like Buster's turbocharger. Sure, can I keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it for it to make more boost? Yes, but what is that actually doing? It's just stressing it out and it's wearing out everything else faster. And that's how I feel with YouTube. I wanna keep going, I wanna keep pushing. I got so many things I wanna do, especially with Buster. I have a big project coming up for Buster um, and visual modifications. Sadly, because it is my only car, and sadly, I, because I don't have um, any space to work on it other than out here, I'm, it's probably gonna take weeks to do one video because I'm gonna have to take each individual piece off and do it one at a time. And that sucks, that's not efficient. At this point, my needs to grow my YouTube channel has exceeded my ability to continue to grow. So glad at least I have this one car garage, but it can only, and I mean just barely facilitate my tools and equipment. Like things are stacked on top of each other just to make things work. So, you know, to get to some things, I have to pull out a whole bunch of stuff just to get to it. So it's not optimal and I cannot move my car in there. Now, just recently, thankfully, I just got an AC um to have in here so when i do some projects i can keep it comfortable enough so i'm not dying so there's that but that's like one small solution to a huge problem the work originates outside like i have to take the part off buster in order to put it in here and work on it in the ac so everything takes place out here where it is hot as hell and here's another problem this is definitely a problem if you're in Florida. You have 
a small window of nice weather in the morning and in the evening uh, because in the morning you have a very small window of, weather, of, of nice usable temperature not super humid right uh, before it gets blazingly hot and then it gets hot and before you know it you have storms and then they'll roll through summertime every day multiple storms a day that's just how it is and then in the evening time as long as it's not raining or storming you have a small little window usually once the sun goes down around 7 30 8 30 somewhere around there to do some work because it's much better outside then after that if you don't get your ass inside the mosquitoes will carry you away not being able to work indoors in air conditioning or just in more comfortable environment is basically putting me at a point where I can't continue. I cannot continue at the rate that I want to because now it takes 10 times longer to do the one video and it sucks. And I cannot let myself take that much time away from other things that I'm doing for my income, like my, you know, my real estate career and some of my other small business ventures because they require a lot of attention too. So I don't know, I guess at the end of the day, all I'm trying to say is, is it's really tough to be a automotive YouTuber, uh, one that actually does work on their car because there's a lot of different subgenres of automotive YouTubers that literally you can do nothing with a car, you know, like reviewers and stuff. I mean, that is so much easier. <laughs> than being a YouTuber that actually does work on the car. Essentially, don't have to worry about spending money on parts as part of your business strategy. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, this wind has picked up because there's a storm coming through. But I gotta say, that air is definitely a lot nicer than it was this morning. But look at this. Look at this wind picking up now because it's about to get nasty out here. But back like what I was saying, if you do other forms of automotive content, you don't have to worry about working on your car outside if you do, you know, reviews or if you're the type of person who just talks. That's why I've integrated a lot of that content onto my channel because there was always times where I just could not be out here working on the car. And it's a tough reality that I never considered before I started doing YouTube. It was something that I've learned after doing YouTube for four years now. Has it been four years? 20, yeah, four years. And it sucks. I know one day, you know, we, we won't be renting this home anymore. I was hoping by 2025, but sadly, I think it's gonna be 2026, realistically, unless I hit the lotto or something. But 2026 is likely gonna be the year I we buy. And I can get something with a two car garage. Or maybe I can find a property with a workshop, you know, separate from the home, a detached garage or something would be great too, I would consider. That's two years out. How am I going to continue to grow cars created now and for it to continue to make money? Here, I'm gonna just open up Buster real quick and sit in here to help block some of the wind. Oh, okay, it's hot in here. That, that sucks, oh my God. Anyway, like I was saying, how am I gonna to continue to grow cars created at this pace? Do I continue making viral, or you know, attempting to make viral content that ultimately taints my reputation? Well, I really don't care about my reputation. It's not like I'm trying to sell anything. But, you know, ultimately I don't, I, I don't wanna make fake content. I don't wanna make misleading content. Viral content's fine, and I would love to make true viral content but I cannot, I don't have the resources. Sadly, where I'm at now with the channel is I continue, but I continue at a slower pace. That means my uploading schedule turns less frequent, the projects I do become minimized, and overall the content production, you know, just slows down. The sad part is once I start doing that, generally, that starts affecting the channel overall because I start producing less videos, less views coming into the channel, 
and then, you know, other videos start suffering. The algorithm starts working uh, against me. It stops recommending my videos. And then, you know, all of a sudden, my four figure uh, monthly YouTube payment is cut in half to only three digits. And I don't work. It doesn't work that I like hidden. Like I have to keep this YouTube channel generating. Ju I mean, if, even if it's barely over a four figure revenue and stream a month, it has to at least do that to, to pay for itself or it don't work. So that means that, OK, if I stop producing content I want to be producing that I, I know a lot of you want to see you know, like real deal stuff, you know, the, the cool projects and working on the car and testing and, and stuff. If I slow the production of that down, that means I still have to do something to keep the channel going. So then that leads me to, OK, do I just work on real uploads? Do I work on shorts videos that really do nothing other than views. I get very little revenue from shorts videos. Do I continue to try to make viral content that I know a lot of you guys are just tired of? What do I do? Definitely between a rock and a hard place here. I'm pretty sure this is something a lot of YouTubers go through um, as they grow. Sadly, have grown a lot quicker than I anticipated as a business to the point where I've outgrown the resources I have currently to sustain my business the way I want to it and to sustain it in a way that will allow it to grow. So that's frustrating because honestly, when I started YouTube, my goal was because I was a bit pessimistic about what I was able to achieve. My goal was, well, you know, if I can just earn a couple hundred bucks a month, I would be happy. Um, you know, I mean, that's just a little extra money to go towards my car projects. I never expected it to actually become work, a job, a source of income, but it has. And I've been treating it like any other business that I've operated. Therefore, my mentality about how I continue to operate is vastly different now than when I started it. I got to tell you. This is the most frustrated I've ever been in my YouTube career, plain and simple. And I think this is a dark reality that not to say YouTubers don't express. A lot of times YouTubers will express the hardships of doing YouTube full time. Um, but in, in the automotive world, doing automotive content the way I do, you don't see it too often. At least I don't. So I guess this is my take on it. This is me expressing the reality of being a hands on DIY car YouTuber. So with all of that said, I'm sure you're wondering then, oh, crap, I ain't, I ain't even going to waste my time then. Ah, don't do that. If you can make it work for yourself, um, like I said, it's all about efficiency. Businesses, it, it, you know, that's one of the key components of scaling a business and growing a business is you need to uh, increase your efficiencies over time, you know, as time goes on. If you already have a stable income and if you already have, you know, property with a nice workspace or at least if you live in a, an environment that isn't as hot <laughs> as Florida, um, yeah, you you already are in good shape if you're doing content like mine. Um, of course, if you do any other type of automotive content, you can save yourself a whole lot of headache and hassle by not having to worry about it all and um, just focus on cars. You know, if you're reviewing them, talking about them, whatever it is, I'm going to do my best, man. I'm, I'm doing my best. I really thought I would already have one of my videos done, but sadly, it looks like for me to be able to do it right. I'm going to have to break it up is in so many different days because I'm going to have to do bits and pieces every day and um, or as, as much as as frequent as I can, I should say. Most likely what you'll see on the channel for now um, until, <laughs> until I figure something better out is I'm just going to work on re-uploading older content, you know, re-editing stuff, 
um, and shorts videos just to keep the channel breathing as I slowly get stuff done. But I've hit a choking point, guys, and and sadly, it's just it is what it is. Uh, if I continue further, I'm just going to burn myself out. So I just want to talk about it because I I like to be transparent. You know, I didn't necessarily want to be negative about it, and I'm not. You know, it's just the unfortunate reality, and it's frustrating. So you're seeing the raw emotions of how it is and that's how i just love portraying reality as such reality <laughs> and there's not much i can do about it other than just go with the flow at the moment so i think i have said enough about all of that and i'm um, probably gonna wrap up the video here before it gets any longer slowly but surely i'll be working on better stuff and yeah anywho i think that's it and uh yeah you know like the video give it a thumbs up share with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already subscribe to the channel keep a lookout for the next cars created video